heat loss. You will certainly have noticed that if you stay for some time in the water, you begin to feel cold, even if the water felt warm when you first got in. To understand what happens, we must first learn what temperature is and its relationship to heat. Heat is a form of energy and temperature is a measurement of the quality of heat that an object has. If we bring a warm and a cold object into contact with each other, the warm object will gradually give up its heat to the cold one until a situation of equilibrium is reached meaning that both objects have the same temperature. The transfer of heat will occur faster or slower according to the thermal properties of the two objects. In our case, the warm object is our body and the cold one is our surrounding environment. When this environment is air, there is a moderate transfer of heat because air, if it is trapped by our clothes, is not a good conductor of heat. In water, absorption and transfer of heat is much greater. In order to heat a given volume of water by one degree, we need four times more heat than we need to heat the same volume of air. Furthermore, the transfer of heat in water between one molecule and another is about 20 to 25 times more efficient than in air. We therefore get colder in water quicker than we do in air of the same temperature, so as divers we have to wear particular equipment that limits the body's heat loss.